Jesus. <laughs> That's so, like, right as I started. $411 Australian as well. Wait, wait, wait. Damn, yeah, damn, know. damn. That is expensive. Anyway, let's get back to the point. So he's unboxed it, got it all out of the box, got all the stuff ready. And now he wants to put on his grip because he wants to ride it, obviously. So that's pretty much what this is about. He's going to be gripping it up. Let's see what he's got. Smithereen also be getting them wheels. Look at him. Sorensen, Proto, Sig. What are they, gripper or slide? Grippers, they say it on the thing. Uh, I should have known. Grippers or sliders. Kick flip. Heel. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Take us through like the design you got here, my man. So I got two sheets. Two sheets. Two groups that I love. Um, Understandable. I, I mean, I fuck with that. I'll tell you, I fuck with that, mate. That. No, no. I mean, no, because I fuck with that. All right, so I've kind of come up with a little design that I thought would be pretty cool to wrap both of them. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to stick the syndicate in the middle. Then I'm going to put start of the friendly there. Yeah, And yeah, then yeah, the yeah. end there. That's sick. Shouldn't you do it in, like, corresponding so it's kind of like, you know... Like that and that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then it's kind of like for a syndicate friendly. True, true. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. No, that makes sense. Get it, get it. Right, so I'm just trying to line it up with the middle. Yeah, obviously I cut the ends off both grip tapes so it makes them shorter. Try and line it up even. Does that look alright? I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Sit up there. Look at it like like you're looking down a gun scope, my man. See if there's any bubbles. Man, let me just give it that initial initial Swan Desi check. Saundesi check right there, bang. My arms have been getting tan since I've been in America. Yeah, dude. sunburnt city, Damn, boy. dude, damn. Mine are like red right now. Anyway, back to the feet. Obviously, you got to make sure you've got no air bubbles in that. Like, stick it down good. Yeah, stick it down really nice. Even. And then... You need passes. something to cut that. Uh, should I cut it after? I, yeah, I'm going to cut it after I put friendly on. But I think... Oh, yeah, definitely put that on first, yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to chop this in half first. Oh, all right. So can you pass us that razor behind? Yeah, I got you, brother. Thanks, G. That was kind of dangerous, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So now I'm just like scoring this to make it easier to cut because I don't have scissors. So I gotta use a razor, which is actually well, a Stanley knife, as you Australians would call it. A Stanley or a, knife. Or a box cutter if you're from America, I just found out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're finding out a lot of new things while we're on this trip. That's one thing for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm scoring this because I don't have scissors. And you take the box cutter or Stanley knife. Now be safe with this, guys, as <gasps> always. Dude, you want to slip. And I'm cutting it from underneath, trying to cut it as straight as I can. So I don't stuff it up. By the way, if you do not know what this grip tape is, go cop yourself a sheet of this. I wouldn't be sponsored by a company that doesn't have good products. Like, just know that for a fact. So, you know, if you're buying something that I'm sponsored by, it's going to be a good product. Because, yeah, I mean... Look at, oh, so good. Such good stuff. Such good stuff. It's on my other deck as well. Yeah, dude, I like the sound of that. Alright, so what are you doing right now? Um, just making sure that this is like straight so I can butt the friendly up against it. Yeah, fair enough. So you're just kind of like, you know, making sure all lens are tied off so you can butt the friendly on there. So you can butt the beep on there. <laughs> butt the bitch on there. Put the cow like in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Moment of truth. See if this looks any good. Put that on there. No, not straight. Is that going on real nice? Oh, not straighten. Can't get it, man. You can't do it, dude. Now, pretty much, you just use the other grip tape as a guideline. Try and get it as even as you can. I kind of like what you're doing here, Smithers. So, obviously, this part of the friendly grip is going to be cut out because of the wheel well. Yeah, so there's the wheel thing and then there's the head and tube. you got to remember that. the head tube thing. have to but, remember that. You'll still be able to see it's grip tape, okay? No, I'm not going to do that. I feel like it'll stuff it. Yeah, no, don't do that, dude. That's always how you mess it up when you're trying to correct the last little bit. Can real picky. I, as a, again, you, again, you're just going to make sure there are no bubbles in there. Dodgy cut. Oh, no. <laughs> do what I do with... Oh, no. Let me get, get the viewers seeing that. Got to focus up. Show it. Oh. Oh, no. Have to, like, butter in there. Dude, you're going to have to just butter up in there. Hmm? 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 Sounds good, dude. Sounds good. 
chuck this on. Better oh. than that. Get the other piece of the tape. You have to mash it in there, dude. Like, kind of mold it in. Yeah. Kind of do one of them ones. Ooh, no. Look good enough, mate. I need it perfect. Dude, understandable. Looking pretty good, dude. Looks all right. Honestly. All right, I think we'll go outside for the next step because it's a bit more messy. Definitely, dude. Definitely. Let me just get a close-up view of that real quick. That's pretty sweet, dude. It looks really long from this angle. Like, it would work on a 24. Oh my like, god. Like, really good. Dude, if I bought a the, would the whole thing fit on, you reckon? Like, it's two other, two more inches, right? Like. Yeah, it'd definitely fit on. Two right. sheets of grip tape on a 24. Ooh. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. 25. Oh well. 26. Anyway, that's looking pretty slick. Like, pretty damn slick. We're gonna do the rest, as you know. Well, I mean, my man. My man Smithers is gonna take you through the rest outside. So I'll see you guys outside when we gotta get our hands real dirty. Oh. Yeah. Well, what are you doing right now? I have no clue what you're doing. You have to inform us what you're doing so we understand what you were doing. This is a tutorial, dude. Yeah, whatever. All right. Come on, so, man. Just like I did cutting the grip tape in half, I'm scoring the grip tape so that I can cut it easier off the side of the deck. Now, this actually makes it way easier to cut the grip tape due to the scissors gliding through a thin piece of grip tape. If you think about it, you're just wearing out the grip tape with an Allen key. Truth? Truth. You gotta get in depth, Mr. Jackson. Tree man. It's tree man to you. Now any side that grip tape is sticking out of, you do this on. And it'll come out beautifully. Oh, I and if you watch it till the end, I'll, I'll show you a little tip I picked up when I used to skate. Oh. To make grip tape stick on the edges. Oh, so I mean, I'm guessing you should stay tuned, guys. Because I don't even know what this is, honestly. So, I'm kind of hot. Stay tuned. Let's get the time lapse going. Oh, that is enough of the time lapse. We are back into normal time. That scared me. Let's get some nice pan shots now, hey? Uh, so you do not understand. It's hard to tell which side is which when there's no neck on it, dude. Hey, legit. It's just like... Okay, so what are you doing now, dude? All right, so I'm cutting this down the wheel well so I can grind the center of the wheel well to make it cut easier. So you can do that process on, on there. The so inside. Sorry for getting in there, bro. That's a bit dangerous. But, yeah, I mean, I just said it, so you got it. As you can see, it's now nice and floppy because when it's when it's nice ooh, and straight... Oh, 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 don't cut my finger. Actually, cut my finger, please, clickbait. No, jokes, I'm joking, dude. Dude, it's going straight through the grippy. The more you score the grip tape, so the more you make this line around your deck, the easier and the cleaner the cut around your deck is going to be. When you see me cut it, it won't be taking much effort to cut it because... It's really weak. Because it's really weak. It's worn down. And the will just go straight through it. That's right. So now we'll do the front where the neck goes. So he repeats the process. He just slices down the center of the grip tape. You can keep slicing. You don't have to know where the end is. It'll just stop for you when it hits the metal. There it is. There it is. And you, also, you don't need to use an Allen key. You can use anything can that's use, got a hard surface, Yeah, man, you just like need metal. Metal, anything. Sort. Nothing that wears away on sandpaper, like, obviously. Well, the Allen key does wear away, but yeah, not just very not, far. Yeah. Scored all the edges, so they're all really good. So now I'm gonna cut it. Now, I'm cutting towards myself, because it's the easiest way. But if you're not confident, I wouldn't cut towards yourself. Cut outwards just to be safe, kids. So I'm trying to get a really clean cut. You gotta be real gentle with it at the same time. Wait till you got a cut before you start streaming it like that. Otherwise you might... And you might need to pull up the edge if it's sticking to yeah, your deck. Yeah, yeah. There's a few things you gotta fiddle with, but you know, usually you get a pretty smooth cut. And don't press too hard down on the metal either, because you, if you have like a powder coated deck or something that's like where it's got colour, you really don't want to chip it too much. Like it'll it'll peel off some of the powder. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but you know. Just, just trying to help you guys out. Scraps in one place so you can keep track of it because it is very, very hard to handle. All these little scraps, I'll tell you. They get lost in the carpet, the couch. It's not good, guys. Oh, we come outside. Exactly. Good idea, dude. You have to be a bit more careful with the ends because you got to follow the curves and stuff. you got to concentrate pretty hard. Make sure, like, you know, Kai doesn't distract you while you're doing it. <laughs> and be careful with the blade, obviously. Yeah, definitely. We don't want anyone getting hurt because of this tutorial right here.
And as I said, around these edges, it can get tricky to cut, which means the more you score it, the less you have to cut. Because if you score it enough, sometimes you'll wear through the grip tape. And it'll just come off, yeah. You don't have to cut it. Yeah. So if you don't have to cut around these awkward edges, it's probably a better idea. To get it real weak with the Allen key. I agree, I agree. I second that. Mm, we might go from the back. Definitely do. Make a slight the length of the deck. I feel like this one's gonna be a buttery one, ready? Ooh, away, one go. Come on. Oh, it's almost like a little game, right? Yeah, if you got more grip tape, like gripping a skateboard is 20 times easier. Yeah, this has all little crannies and corners and like. There's not a lot to cut, which makes it harder. Definitely, definitely. See, I just peel it up some of the grip. Stick it back See, down. See, you don't want to do that. You got to be careful of that. And also, cutting one sheet is a lot easier than cutting definitely, three different definitely. sheets like I'm doing right now. So it's way easier. What are you saying? It's way easier to just put on one solid sheet than like do a design. But I mean, it does pay off with the hard work when you, you do a cool do design. It. Yeah, definitely. If you pull the job off, definitely. Also, one more tip. If you do need to get your grip tape off before you put on new grip tape, real easy. Use a blow dryer, that makes the glue really weak and it should just peel off pretty easy, correct? Yeah, a blow dryer or a heat gun. A heat gun, If you gun, have yeah. a heat gun, that's uh, just like That's a, pretty rare, man. That's but just like a an intense hair dryer that's used for industrial. Products. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Instead of hair. So he's got some corners already cut off, so he's doing pretty well right now. Not the quickest of jobs, but it's not the longest either, I'll tell you that. Definitely can be though, if you're getting real intricate. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Three down, one to go? One to go. Let me see how that's looking. Oh, you gotta fix that up a tiny bit. That's looking spicy, dude. I'm sure you're super hyped to ride this, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, you paid good money for it, dude. Better ride good, am I right? Yeah. And you can spray paint the neck in the future if you wanted a different color. I wanted to. Get creative with the bitch. Ooh, that was red hot towards my hand. Yeah, no, that was some sketchy business, dude. Be careful. I don't want anyone leaking on me now. Leaking. Whoop, whoop. Stop focusing on Tree's hand. Wow, wow, we're blurry now because he hand you. Thanks, bro. Thanks. The hey, viewers I'm, can't see I'm much now. I'm not the cameraman, dude. Dude, dude, the viewers can't see much now, dude. Oh, no, dude. No, no, dude. I'll see you guys when it's in focus. Oh, 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 that took long. But yeah, bolt holes, or are they in the side? Oh, you're riding brakeless, bro. I'm riding brakeless. Yeah, he's riding brakeless, because actually, tell him, tell, him, tell him why. Tell him the reason? Yeah. Well, the proper reason is because Chetty Fenders don't fit. Chetty Fenders do not fit on this, just I in think case you, you wanted to buy it. I think you, you can, might be able to mod it, to but it's not easy. It. It's not easy, exactly. And the second reason is because the wheel is so far back, and there's so much foot space that your foot doesn't hit the wheel. Yeah. I've already ridden Protodex while I've been here in America. Haven't hit the wheel once. And that's the exact reason why he is not riding a brake. Chetty or die, right? Yeah, Chetty or die, but I can't ride a Chetty, so... Yeah, I know. So you ride nothing. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, so you can't ride a brake if you're Chetty or die. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you're a Chetty you or die. You brakeless or a Chetty. Yeah, brakeless is the analogy die. You know what I mean? Chetty or die. <laughs> the analogy. <laughs> Getting technical for the viewers. Very. Cleaning up a few bits. It's looking tasty. I reckon it's sick. I'm not criticizing anything. I'm s no, perfect. Whatever. I had two sheets perfect. and I needed to get rid of them and that's how I did it. Perfect. That's looking real nasty. What else do you need to do? Anything else? I'm mm, just going to clean it up a little bit. Definitely. Definitely. Just think about that. And then I'll show you the trick. All right. We're keen to see this trick. I'll see you guys when Jackson's ready to let us know what this amazing trick is to keep grip tape from folding up on the sides. Now what? Do you have to tell the viewers what's this right. amazing tip so when i used to skate people used to tell me that actually no i worked in a skate shop so even better and when i used to grip people's boards or grip the boards just in the store the guy that ran the skate shop told me that the best way to make grip tape stick and like stay on for a long period of time is get your off cuts so like this uh this one and if you've only got one that's fine you just fold it in half and i've got one prepared here that i did earlier and you get like probably try not to use the white because i think the white might come off it definitely does i noticed that when i was trying to like cut the side of the one on my grip tape yeah, there you go all right yeah. so the white will come off so try and use the black part that is the most like Have, reliable piece of if grip you tape. really care about like the paint or like if it scratches the deck i probably wouldn't recommend it but like i just say get in your shoe if me, you don't if you don't want your deck being scratched i just say get in your shoe and just real like rubbing it in with the shoe yeah, you know what yeah, i mean but even this you just rub this 
on the edge of the grip tape. And it downwards. Kinda like, and it kind of like, yeah, you try and get it downwards so it sticks better. Yeah, you mush it downwards. Uh, uh, and I guess you yeah. try and score it down so that there's not a sharp surface on the edge, which means nothing can catch on it to lift the grip tape off. So you just kind of just try and fold it down. And yeah, it's probably scratching my deck and I can't see because it's dark. But, you know, it's a deck. They get thrown around. They get hey. treated like crap pretty hey, much. They get, they get they get thrashed. grinded on, they get grinded so, on and stuff like yeah. that, you know and what I mean? You're just trying to do every edge that you've cut. Every single part. Like, that's probably ruining my deck. But, when you think about it, decks get ruined. That's decks what get ruined, that's what you gotta think about, guys. But, I mean, I, I know... Know where people come from. When I have that new deck, you want it to keep its new deck yeah, feel for as long same. as it can. Like I totally do that as well. Yeah, I'm 100%. trying not to scratch my deck as much as I can, but 100. But I mean, the paint doesn't really affect the ride. And it helps you if you miss any bits. It helps you cut them off again. Exactly. So it's even. It's got two little purposes that help it real nice to make it super, super slidey, super, super annuation. That's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done. And Good job, it. dude. Let, let's pan that real quick. Let's get a close up. Let me fix it in. Can't really see the friendly there. Definitely see the syndicate. Definitely see, can the, see the friendly That's at this end a bit rap. better. That's pretty dope. Brilliant, brilliant. I myself think that turned great. Big shout outs to Jackson for helping me through that. Like, instead of me explaining it, he kind of just, you know, like did it for me in a sense. Like, I just kind of like added in my part, etc., etc. So, I hope you actually enjoyed that little segment, that little video where me and Jackson gave you a little tutorial on how to put on grip tape. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Big thanks to my man, Smithers for helping me out anyway. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn the notifications button on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video, guys. And of course, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.